Hey guys, I'm here to show you how to force feed a cat. Here are the supplies you'll need. First and most importantly, you will need um, some AD urgent care food. This food is amazing. Um, it's highly palatable. It's really high in calories, which is obviously important if a cat hasn't been eating. But most importantly, when you mix this food, it liquefies. Um, and that's just so important because if you're using a food and there's little chunks left in it, when you draw it up in the syringe, it's gonna clog it. And when you're feeding the cat, you're gonna end up spraying in the face, which nobody wants. Uh, it could be really stressful for them. Um, so I definitely recommend this food. Uh, you absolutely can try using FM chicken or different wet foods, but I honestly don't even think it's worth it. This food is just by far the best. Um, so I start by getting just a spoonful. I find people overdo the amount that they need. You're gonna be mixing this with a few other ingredients. So about this amount is definitely enough, just about a tablespoon um, in the little container. So that's the AD food. Um, next, we're gonna want to add some NutriCal. Um, this is just really high in uh, calories and it's a great way to boost the amount of caloric intake you're gonna, this cat's gonna be taking in um, when you're force feeding them. Um, so that's the best. Uh, I do about a teaspoon. There you go. And again, this is also highly palatable. Um, so often cats do enjoy eating this. Often you can even get them to eat it off a spoon. Um, but of course, if you're force feeding, the cat's probably just not eating at all anymore. Um, and then you're gonna wanna add some water. I usually aim for making about 40 milliliters of this solution. Um, you're gonna wanna aim to get about 30 milliliters um, of, of this slurry into them. So um, so I make 40 just in case I need a little bit of extra. Um, cause it's gonna be hard to make more once you already got the cat out and you're holding them. Um, so try to mix in the NutriCal. Perfect. And then lastly, you're gonna need a syringe. We've got lots of different options of syringes. Um, some are by far better than others. So um, firstly, let's go through. We probably don't wanna use, if you see a syringe with this kind of screw on applicator tip here, um, these are really inconvenient because it's fat here and it's hard to kind of get it in the cat's cheek and lodge it, lodge it in the side there. Uh, definitely don't recommend this type of syringe. What you do want is something with a nice applicator tip. Um, and whatever size you use is totally up to you. Uh, it is convenient to use these 10 mil syringes and we've got tons of them at Ops, they're pretty cheap. Um, so these are a great option, but sometimes I find cats don't like something big and bulky going towards their face. So then they're smaller, this is a three mil. I've even used a one mil syringe for a tiny kitten before. It's up to you, just make sure you've got the nice applicator tip on it. Um, yeah, and uh, that's all you need. Uh, other than that, I would definitely make sure you have some paper towel. You can even make a little paper towel bib um, out of paper towel for the kitty because as you'll see, this gets really messy. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get our victim and I'll show you how to do some force feeding. Hey guys, I'm back here with our friend Patrick. Um, Patrick definitely does not have any problems eating, but he did agree to help us today. So we're just gonna be showing you the method of, uh, of how to force feed a kitty. Um, although it will probably be a little bit easier on him because he is just struggling out of my hands right now to get all the goodies and treats on the table. Um, as I said, AD is highly palatable. Um, so this guy's actually struggling to, uh, get over towards the can of food I have. Um, so I've drawn up, um, my slurry into the syringe. <laughs> Patrick, you are such a greedy boy. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very, very, very slowly um, draw the um, slurry into the cat's cheek. You do not wanna shove it down their throat. This could cause the cat to aspirate. Um, it's very important that you are just put, placing it in the cat's cheek and letting them swallow it themselves. Patrick, you are so greedy. Um, so here we go, uh, you gotta, so you're gonna wanna restrain their face. Uh, there's no way the cat's gonna hold their face still for you. And then you're just pouring it right in the cheek here. Uh, I'm not pouring it any further than his cheek. Uh, this guy is pretty keen to eat the food, so he's opening his mouth and uh, swallowing it readily. But more often you'll see that the cat kind of sits there and will swallow a little bit, but the rest will most likely pour to the side of their face. Once again, that's why the paper towel is important. 
Um, in some cases, you will see that the cat will go completely limp. They might not really be swallowing anything at all. Try to get what you can in them. They'll probably swallow a little bit. Um, and in that case, you might just want to pour it out a little bit slower. Um, but there could be a chance that they're not going to work with you at all. They're not going to swallow it at all. And in that case, you're going to have to uh, figure out a different solution. Right, Patrick? Mwah. Um, once again, go really slowly and you're only going in the cheek here. You do not want to shove it right down their throat. Uh, this could cause them to aspirate. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching guys. Um, thank you so much to our helper here, Patrick. Um, and let us know if you need any more help with force feeding. Thanks Patrick. Mm -hmm.